Good morning. It's this kind of morning. It's a space heater kind of morning. It's really chilly outside, and right now our thermostat is unhooked because we didn't get the wiring done yesterday. And we don't really need it. The space heater's doing a fine job. Bedroom's really cold. But you got covers back there. Except for me, I didn't have much covers because Wayne steals them all. I end up with a, a sliver of sheet, and that is it. He steals all the covers. He gets way colder than me. It's dark in here. There's Bean. There's Cosmo. And oh, I hear. And there's my pack, but you can't see because it's too dark. I'm going to walk in here. Um, it's not too early. It's about 15 till 7. And I've been up, of course, since 5. Um, Sky's not going to be able to go to work today because he went to the gym after work yesterday and hurt his foot getting off the treadmill. It's swollen, but it, last night when he went to bed, it was not black and blue. And I feel like if it was going to be black and blue, it would have it would have been that way before bedtime. I hope. So, I hope today he gets up and his foot is fine. He was asking for crutches last night, and it was like 9 o'clock. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going out to find crutches tonight at 9 o'clock. You're going to bed anyway, so... I'll ride to the Value Village, which is a second-hand store um, this morning. If he still needs crutches and look for some, I think crutches is just another way for him to get hurt. You know, because we have these floors now that are slickery and a good way to, to fall in some crutches. So we'll see what happens. I don't think he'll need them. I hope he don't need them. There's Bean tearing up stuff. Let me turn on this lamp for a little bit more light. I didn't work on any art yesterday. I didn't figure I would get to, and I didn't because um, our work on the mudroom. We got the floor all done. We pulled out the dryer, and we pulled out the washer, and it was wet under the washer. So the washer's been leaking. And yesterday, it was really hard for me to get to work. I finally got it to work. Um, but we, we're not putting it back in. We're going to go get another one and put it in instead. You can find them all over uh, Marketplace and stuff really cheap. And uh, But um, one of his brothers has an extra one. And so we're going to go get it. Thank goodness. Because we had to also go buy hoses for the um, washer we had to go buy thermostat wire and we couldn't find just a little bit we had to buy us just like 50 feet of it and we had to buy a box and like a box to hold the uh, electric socket and I don't know it was it was a lot it was like over $60 worth of stuff and we didn't get but a, a few things so, not having to pay for a washer right now is, is nice, even though you can't find them for like $100. But $100 is still a lot, and you don't have an extra $100 to spend on something. And that's not in our budget right now. So, but we got all the floor done. And today, we'll um, work on the electricity so we can have a light back in there. We haven't had light since we started this project few weeks ago in there I used a lantern light in there a battery powered lantern light and so we'll get the electricity back in there and we'll get the thermostat hooked back up just in time for the weather to turn back to 83 degrees and by that time it'd be November that sucks I don't like summer in the fall I hate it I don't like summer most times I especially don't like it when it's supposed to be cool outside I feel like that's rude sun has had her time she needs to go away but in other news, Wayne's rotor cuffs on both um, sides is shredded. He can't hardly get up and down off the floor, and he can't raise one of his arms at all. He was comparing himself to a T-Rex yesterday. And that's rough. 
especially since we have to go move a washing machine and else guy can't help us because of his foot. So it'll just be us. And he can't lift very well. Uh, yeah. It feels like we take a step forward and then we take three steps backwards. But I am not going to be moved by what I see or hear or feel. I am going to only be moved by what I want. And what I want is peace and health and happiness and security and good things. Because believe me, we've had more than our fair share of bad things. So it's time for some good things. It is. It is time. I'm hoping to move this baker's rack into the mud room because right now I've got all my extra pots and pans that were up on the shelf in the pantry. I got them stacked on top of the deep freeze and that's an accident waiting to happen because they're just like Jenga up there. So I'm hoping to take this in there and have room for it. We're not putting the hot water heater in there because there's not going to be room. So and right now we're not putting down any kind of flooring. We got um, the subfloor. And that's fine for right now while we um, look for flooring for that room. Because we're always looking for a deal. Yeah, boy. So today with it just being mainly electricity and thermostat stuff, I'll help pull wire when Wayne needs me. But maybe I can be in the studio some today. I don't know with his arms the way they are and this guy's foot the way it is. I don't know. I don't know what to expect from today. But I am praying for peace and healing and a good day for us all. That means you too. So for right now, I guess I'm going to go because it's just me and these animals. And I'm going to get a cup of tea. And work on something. I think I might work on some bracelets. Or I might work on this. I probably need to work on this embroidery thing. Because I think that's going to be my CBS thing for this Saturday. Anyhow. Have a good day. And stop by tomorrow. For another little chat. I hear the cat eating my basket. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.